Hi, um, it's Wednesday today, 18th September 2014. Just an update on uh, our warrant for the search and seizure of 61 Cook Street in Auckland, New Zealand. It's been a, a, a long uh, journey to do it. It's over five years now. That's how long it takes to do just that one block of land. A lot involved. Uh, between here, Australia and Britain in the, a number of things um, uh, as far as the, the um, monarchy goes, sovereignty uh, of the Queen, Queen Victoria back to King William the Fourth, King William the Third and then down to Ke Queen Elizabeth the uh, Second where she is standing right now in the European Union Parliament, uh, Matt Taylor is uh, our uh, partner uh, that we have picked up on uh, with our contracts with Britain and New Zealand. Our Maui Hapu uh, native people, I'm speaking here as one of them, uh, with a plan uh, to recover uh, everything that has been um, derived through King William's flag here. <clears throat> of it's a constitution of 1835 and you'll see that the Declaration of Independence and the uh, Confederation um, um, Constitution inside this flag at the end of the warrant that I have I'm putting together on the computer you can see there now uh, it's going to be about 60 pages Matt it built up uh, with a number of Editions uh, going from the title itself, uh, who was the original landowners, uh, right from the beginning of the Scottish titles. Uh, so those were put together uh, in Glasgow by a real estate company called the Manukau Land Company. Okay, so that's the beginning of these um, legal titles with mortgage on the flag, which represents commercial liens through King William. Not too much mention about him, Matt, about King William. They've covered it up very well here in New Zealand and also in Britain. They've suppressed a lot of history uh, surrounding the, the um, uh, authentic sealing of documents of title and instruments that are used to derive uh, money uh, from land, birth certificates and social security numbers, <coughs> licenses and whatnot. Anything to um, um, use legally uh, to make money out of the resources and all sorts that are inside the flag. So the flag really I'm trying to encourage uh, Alex Salmon, having a bit of success there, with gather, gathering support for his country to be like us, like this, an independent sovereign nation state. There's two of those going on here, our one and the Australian government. That's what I wanted to talk about, their titles that are on these land blocks in Auckland, New Zealand. Um, so we started off with, with the uh, William uh, Cornwallis um, Simons who came here uh, with the British title uh, of Admiralty. His um, father was a, um, uh, an admiral and he was a captain. Uh, William was a captain. So he brought these mortgages, documents, for the Manukau land here at Cornwallis, which is Puponga, that's the original name, Puponga Point, on the Manukau Harbour Heads, where the British came in. That's their first legal landing here in this country. Okay, according to the 1840 Treaty of Waitangi, the government has, the New South Wales government has in Wellington. So they are exile government that has exile land titles here, operating and um, 
uh, extinguishing Crown titles so that they're going to end up with New South Wales titles. They all derived their titles from Britain, from Westminster Parliament. Matt? So they can't get past this because it overrides all of their jurisdictions. That's what I'm putting across here. And tying it up real tight. Uh, Matt, I've been so used to contracts in my time, self-employed, uh, over 26 years in the real estate and also the building industry uh, and also the um, uh, mechanic uh, engineering industries as self-employed. Okay, so I know what I'm doing when it comes to conveyancing instruments uh, being inside our family. Okay, I've said it enough times that our family in England <coughs> is responsible for putting this all together. Okay? Uh, no arguments there. So anyway, we, we, we've come to the conclusion that uh, I've just got off the phone uh, to my um, 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 private investigator uh, that I was going to do this by myself, I can, uh, but he's licensed here under that government uh, to do the investigation and to put the, their documents that we're using the jurisdictions of New Zealand, Australia and Britain uh, to do this title. So those had to be in there, Matt, it's not just a clean cut um, title where you can just go and try and do it with an ordinary piece of paper, like a title, not, not anybody's kettle of fish to, um, to be mixed up in this. That's why the police don't want to get mixed up in this title, because it's outside their jurisdiction. It's outside the court's jurisdictions here as well, and it's outside the um, uh, government's jurisdictions, right, of anything they're doing because we're acting as a government here with this flag. Okay, Self-government, you'll see that there in the Constitution. So a Constitution, Matt, is a contract. Okay? A Constitution, this flag is a Constitution, you see? So I'm just saying to Alex Salmon, you're best to go with this flag and this black seal of the British military, which I just read this morning on Facebook, that when you leave Scotland, leaves the British uh, uh, UK, you're on your own and you have to look for someone to look after you. So this flag has the obligations of the British military, has to abide by this contract, Matt and Alex Salmon. It has to, com it has to comply with this black seal of the military protection of the King George Red Cross, that's his brother, Matt. That's King William the Fourth's brother, that flag there, the cross. Okay, and you have to comply with these, the Star of Queen Victoria, right? That's another one. One of these points is Queen Victoria and your British people here and there, and the other seven are our Pacific Island countries. Well, according to this constitution, they haven't got one in Wellington, according to this constitution, all those Pacific Island people who are so ignorant, and the Iwis here, and the Iwis on this land block, that's not theirs, is ignorant to the fact of whose land it is, and whose jurisdiction they come under map. You see, I keep saying this all the time on these videos to these people here in this country. They don't want to know where they came from. This flag was raised eh, on Devon Port, right? Devon Port, right? King William's flag was raised up on the council buildings. You know what the council said? Pull it down. I'm just telling them, you've got egg on your face and Cameron being an ancestor, a descendant of King William. Wouldn't let you put it up, Matt. That's what I'm saying. They'll have egg on their face by the time Alex Salmon gets in with his yes vote, right? The truth starts coming out. Then, um, this is a plea to uh, uh, Alex Salmon, first Prime Minister of, of Scotland, 
government, please put this flag up. And you can sail around the whole world, the skies, under the sea, under this flag of jurisdiction, free passage through the world. Matt, you tell him, or he should be listening to this video. Okay? So you've got Queen Victoria inside this. You've got the Bank of England inside this flag. Okay? Patterson, uh, uh, John Patterson. Uh, you're listening to this video. There's William Patterson inside this flag. Okay, so there's not a flag of just nothing. It's this flag should be flying high in Westminster. This flag should be flying high in Westminster. That's one of many kings. Not disrespecting any other king, but this one's got the mortgage of all the money that's been made. Okay, and the Rothschilds. That's another story. Now, man, the Rothschilds was here in this country. They're still here, got property here, right? We're going to search those, those titles. But they put the Reserve Bank Act together here, right? From UK, here. Uh, and they uh, constructed the Reserve Bank here. And the Reserve Bank in the uh, uh, USA. Okay, so everything was done here, man, from Britain. From Britain through Australia. But the ultimate decision making was here with this flag. They could not do it without this flag. They could not go around free passage around the world, uh, Prince Andrew, uh, and, um, and HM Customs uh, and HM Treasury. Could not go around the world without Admiral. Okay? So they had to, they won't tell you where they get it from. They just said, oh, um, we've been in the Navy or um, we've. You know, uh, that's what uh, Prince Andrew said. Oh, I'm I'm an ambassador of of England of um, Britain uh, for the Commonwealth, uh, and I'm an extension of the Navy, military, right? So, but he wasn't even in the military. He was an ambassador uh, uh, promoting Britain, right, around the world, especially America. So he was diddling something going on over there while he got caught in Spain. Now you can see Spain jumping up and down. The Prime Minister of, uh, the, the, uh, Prime Minister of Spain jumping up and down about what's going on, right? Because they are caught up in the fraud too. So it starts from Rothschilds here. Uh, 1933, the bank, uh, the bank um, set up the bank in New Zealand, uh, and the birth certificates were uh, used as instruments. Um, 1952. Uh, legal nations around that time, and the gold was um, uh, seized, and notes put in its place. Uh, the, the, the power notes and the, the Rothschilds set up their money system for lending. Okay, that was all done at that time, and the United States was set up in 1952, and the Reserve Bank was set up in 1945. Um, UCC set up in 1952. Uh, at that time, Queen uh, Elizabeth 52 was when she became queen. That's when the racket started. Okay, that's when the racket started of all these mortgages and everything going on with the Rothschilds. The Rothschilds' uh, children came from Queen Victoria, right? And her own husband, Albert, was a he was a, a what do you call a blank butt, right? He, he couldn't have children. Okay, so this other guy, uh, like a horse, did the servicing. Okay, uh, Rothschilds. So that's where they've got their families uh, mixed up. And this. we're going to build them, man. Eh? We're going to build them for the fraud. We identify the fraud. That's what I'm doing on this property here. And whose land it is? We are the right land the landowners. And the landowners that the crown has got is not the right landowners. And it's proof enough. You can see. Uh, that they uh, murdered, in, in the same pattern, murdered William Cornwallis Simons, right? At 31 he died. He only got here um, uh, in 1839, 1840, right? Now, 1841 he died, mysteriously. And so that's why they call the place Pupanga Cornwallis, okay? And they call Simon Street in Auckland here. 
after him, Simon. Right? See? So that's all they left them, a memory. They took all, they, they, they bodied the, the titles he had for these Manukau lands. And then what they did was they sold the bush land as title without surveying it. That's when they came here, the immigrants came here, your people over there, from Britain. They said, where's our land? They said, there. And it was all bush. That's where these Ngāti Whātua people stepped in and said they were looking after them and all of that sort of thing. Fair and good enough, but they didn't have the title. Right? When it boils down to things, uh, man, uh, it's, it's not that easy to find who's who in all these um, history of where the jurisdiction comes from. Okay, so that's what we're doing here, Matt, today. I just wanted to, to add to the end of the um, uh, warrant, which is about 60 pages. I did a video before, but it cut off, the battery, battery went flat. So I'll do it again. Um, so anyway, we're <clears throat> we're adding to the end the constitution of this flag. Okay, you'll see it on the end. I think the, the, you'll find that I think the business round table is using it. Right, they're using it, uh, uh, and they put it. They've got another name for their for their company. I just can't uh, I can't think of it at the moment. But anyway, they're usurping uh, that authority, and so of the constitution of the flag. So we've got the, the 1835 Constitution, we've got the 1840 uh, Acts of Parliament from Britain and from Australia and New Zealand. So we've got that there on this um, title. And then we've got the uh, 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 19, uh, 1852 Constitution, that's the one that was altered after the government took over and put this flag in the cupboard and that, they put it in the cupboard and then the way they went and, um, and uh, skullduggery with this jurisdiction inside their 1840 uh, as if they had their own declaration of independence and their own sovereignty. This is a sovereign flag, uh, Matt, this, this is a sovereign flag. So you need sovereignty. You need a, a constitution, which the contract between us and Britain is this flag, right? So we got that con that contract with King William, direct with the flag, right? Uh, and we have a, we have a uh, recognised as our own sovereign, and the the, the act is still there, the um, self government section seventy one in the Constitution of eighteen fifty two, right? They could not take that out. The government here, when they when they change the act, right? They're not supposed to change that act, Matt, because it belongs to us, right? It belongs to our native people, the only ones that can change our constitution, not the government here, okay? They're not the right people, so they made a mistake there to make the 1986 constitution. So that's very important on this land block. If there's any arguments, I'm putting it out in front of all the lawyers here, the judges in the courts. Listen to this video what I'm saying, because I have the right to talk right over the top of you when it comes to jurisdiction on this title land on 61 Cook Street. And I'm saying, stay out of it, stay out of the contract that I had with this flag and with the King of England, the royal uh, King's Royal Revenue and the King's Bench, I'm acting in our own court online on Facebook, uh, direct to the, the High Court of Admiralty in London with uh, Judge Mackey um, and uh, his uh, Queen's Bench Court, right? We're in the Queen's Bench, man. The King's Bench is still in the Queen's Bench because they can't take it away because it'll null the Queen's Bench because of the um, um, succession of the monarchy down from King William to King George the, the Sixth to Queen Elizabeth. Okay, so she can't take the king out because it'll kill herself. Okay, well I think she is has, has done that. Uh, anyway, uh, we're just putting that in place, uh, the uh, monarchy line, so that we uh, we have a um, uh, um, have the say here uh, on what happens uh, as far as uh, the constitution or 
the origins of um, the jurisdiction to speak inside the court, the King's Bench. Okay, the other King's Bench, before I forget, man, is the um, Upper House of Lords. That is the other King's Bench. That is the, the, the uh, main Parliament makes the decisions, not the courts. The courts uh, and the King's Bench or the Queen's Bench in the courts are paid through Parliament. Okay, the Parliament and the Prime Minister pays their wages. So we are in the upper house of lords with their flag and the king. That's where I'm going to, man. I'm going in there and I demand to go in there as representing the king, okay, uh, with that jurisdiction uh, of the king's bench. Okay, king's bench orders that I put on this uh, land block to seize it and where the King's Bench comes into law, Matt, just for everybody watching the video, when the Parliament in the lower house makes its um, uh, acts of Parliament, it, it gets the royal assent from the Queen or who's the representative there uh, for the Queen, the Governor General, into the upper house. The upper house has to pass it. And so when they uh, have a disagreement in the upper house, right, when they have a disagreement in the upper house, king takes over. Right, the king has the last say, Matt. King has the last say. That's what I'm saying. In this country, I'm having the last say in whatever happens to any piece of land, the Admiralty takes over precedent over any mortgages. That law takes over any mortgages that have got liens on them or financial interests on that land block under this title. That's why I say it didn't matter who's on the land block. I've got new lease agreements in this warrant, Matt. That's why I take a long time. It's got a business corporate lease. Okay? This is like the 99 year leases that I'm going to terminate. This is the terminator. You see? It decides. The landlord decides with the tenant, who's those people on there now, to those people who are on that land block at 61 Cook Street, I've got new tenancy agreements inside this uh, warrant. You'll see it online on Facebook. So everybody's looking. Even the High Court of London's looking. The Westminster's looking. And the government here is looking. Everybody's looking at each other. Everybody's looking at each other. That's why those are the witnesses. Right? And Facebook is over 1.2, 1.4 billion people. And that's sufficient to say there is people looking at it. Dare yeah, I say downloading it. But for anybody who thinks they want to use those documents, do not use them. Do not use any of these Moai Crown Federal State King William the Fourth Admiralty Jurisdiction Court Martial Law documents that are sealed by King William's seal of his horse and his ship and him on his horse round is sitting going to sit as our sheriff's badges right and our uh, marshal court marshals and our legal advocates. It'll have the seal there of King William to authenticate anything that person's carrying, including the warrants. Okay, they can seize anything. They can go in um, over the top of the police or anybody in the country or anywhere in the Commonwealth countries and America and anywhere other countries want this uh, partnership. On this other side, we've got the flag. This flag. Okay. Here, Matt. Yeah, you see? Can you see the flag? That's the Confederation flag, or in other words, the Federal State flag. This one here, of King William the Fourth. Over here will be his seal. So we've got Constitution here, contract, and we've got the seal here, authenticating documents that we're carrying. Okay, documents that we're carrying. You see, like that, like that. So what I'm going to do is put all that together with that, 
those are the citations and the exhibits, right? The exhibits, that, the constitution behind that, the Acts of Parliament of King William, 1830-1837, stacked underneath that, the Acts of Parliament of New Zealand, the Acts of Parliament of Australia, okay? All stacked up just for that one block of land, man. You know why? Because it's tied tight. It's tied tight, really tight, so that no one's going to... <coughs> try any tricks. So, one more time, warning to anyone who contemplates using these documents here, even as uh, Maoris, this is not about Maoris, okay? This is about hapu. Uh, the native hapu, uh, the Moai memorial, so the Moai is a memorial statue that dates, right? It puts a date on who we are to Raiatea Island, where the Tikanga Maui law came from. Uh, that's a spiritual part, man. And it went from there to Rapanui, okay? Uh, that's the big, uh, big shine, sun, at midday, up like that. And it went from there to Moko Nui. Moko, right? The carving on Desmond's face. That's moko nui, big, big face. Okay, that's what moko nui means. Big shine, sunshine, at midday, big face at 6 a.m. in the morning, man. When the sun, first sun in the morning in the world is at moko nui, right? The hill, hill, nui, big hill, big, big face, big face on a big hill, okay? So the sun is the shortest distance, physical distance, so the sun is right there, te pito, te pito, birth is what, the, that's what it means, the birth navel of Aotea, New Zealand, and te pito on East Island, birth of the world, earth world, that's our title. Then it's 6 p.m. in London, okay, those are three points, Matt, of our title, jurisdiction, our title to these landlocks, to this country between me and you. Okay? That's the real truth. That's the real God's truth, God's law, L O R E, to these documents. And put that besides what you see of the Vatican, and it's all coming to ribbons to pieces with their stolen pyramid and its money eye in the middle going to blazes, right? And shooting people up and killing, killing people all over the world and stolen obelisk, the sun. When we've got a real sun here you're looking at, right? Instead of stealing the black Africans a blisk and their pyramid and their culture and their heritage. And the Queen pinched our Moai statue and put it in London, thank you very much. That means we're there. Okay? The pinch and put it in New York, that means we're there. And Washington, we're there. And Chile. And uh, uh, New Zealand here, Australia, uh, New Zealand. Uh, North South Island and uh, also Brussels, France and England. Okay, there you go. That's our title. Uh, authenticated on the star, the sun, three points. That's the reference point, uh, man, to all our writings. Right? It's easy to understand that without getting complicated and upside down like the Vatican's confusing people with myths and Illusions, right? All pictures of, of this and this and that. Fine, pictures are right for art and all that, but when it comes to the reality, the sun you can't lie. And forget about spinning the world upside down. We're talking about now fixed in time. Frozen, the video is frozen. And we're talking now of where the world sits. It's still just about the same weather, Matt, when I was working in the forest as a mechanic. It's still the same temperature. Nothing's changed. The world's moved over a little bit, but the stupid people are trying to make it artificial by spraying the skies and all sorts of things that aerosols kill, kill the air and the water and everything. So those are those white people from Europe that went there under this flag. Okay? That's what I'm saying. They use Admiralty to go and do their mischief in the banks and also to get from one A to B. They're still using this flag there. And Obama can't say he's a king. 
because he's under this flag under Britain as well. It's the Queen doing all the damage. And the King, William, he's, the last thing he wanted was this to happen. Right? The last thing he wanted was this to happen. He was doing it for the people. Anyway, getting off the point here. Uh, so um, I'll end this in a minute. Uh, so whatever, what else have I got? Um, private prosecution, I went on to that after that in the Warren. Uh, from the mortgages, um, I talked about Rothschild being uh, um, setting up the banks and the uh, fractional banking and all that sort of thing around about the same time adds up here. All the history here adds up. Now with Australia, uh, the titles here to Australia, um, um, uh, they're still, uh, their laws in their admiralty, it still comes under the Australian jurisdiction, not here. And so that's the problem they have with this here. The police can't, I'll have to tell them. I'm going to put, give them a book. I'm going to give them a big book. Right? It'll have about 60 or 70 pages in it. I'll give them the whole lot so that they can come up to speed. Uh, so to save embarrassment. We, we don't want to embarrass anyone when they change over. I want to go on that section. I'll give them a new tenants agreement. They, they either sign it or they have a leave. Right? Seven days to leave. Right? Seven days to leave, that's what it says on there. It's a British tenancy agreement, business one. You've got residential uh, um, citizen one, and then you've got this business one. The business one, Matt, is the, is the Commonwealth one. This is the, the countries on there. It's got all the countries on there. There's 20 altogether states except ours. Why did they leave New Zealand now? Right? They haven't got it on that list of, of countries that, uh, that um, um, come under that tenancy agreement. Right? See, they left us out because this country didn't have the title. Right? They didn't have the title. Neither has Australia. They don't, they don't own it. It still belongs to the Abor Aborigines, the indigenous people. Right? But it'll, they'll follow suit when they see what we're doing. Right? There's, there, there's no way around it. It's me against one other person in contract, Matt. One at a time. That's how you do it. One person at a time. It's no use trying to sue the crown because you get nowhere. You sue the person who's doing the damage. Okay, one pull one out and take them out. Okay, just just go and seize everything. That's what we're going to do here with one person and the other one and the other one and the other one connected to him. So when you look at it, man, they're all linked to the queen. Sorry to say, they're all in it. Okay, they're all in it. They get the bill, and so that's contract. You want to mess around with contracts? This is this is this is this is the medicine for it, right? That's the medicine for you. Fix it up, okay? So for the Scottish people, um, uh, the decision is yours. My recommendation is to join the Yes Party and get out of uh, being stranglehold and told how high to jump. Because Scotland, actually, when you look at it, yeah, England rules, right? They rule. Uh, uh, Ireland, Ireland uh, is the aggressor and Scotland built the place, okay? They're the backbone. That's all I can say. They're the backbone that put these titles together. It's got their patent on it from Glasgow, the title. So they worked that out. They worked that out. How to make the instruments and King William passed the act in a, in a act You'll see it in the X under King William. You'll see his own X, right? His own X, the Bank of England Act. You'll see his own X, the Bank of England Act. You'll see King William III's Bank of England Act, his own Act. See these, these two kings with these instruments. The instruments, at the end of the day, Matt, the instruments are everything to go on to make sure we know what we're talking about when it comes to finance, right? I've been a broker for a long, long time in property broking and bank broking, okay? That's part of my uh, building industry, high-rise, high-rise buildings, right? So anyway, the Scottish people, back to the Scottish people. Uh, if you put this in mind, the area of Scotland and its economy is 8% of the UK market. When you put this flag up, you're going to take, what, about a sixth of the globe's area with that, just on the Pacific region, 
okay, and all its resources. You're going under that. But this is going right over the wheel, right? It's going right over the wheel in 250 countries, man, on our website. It's sitting there with no driver, right? I put it together, but that's from 2012, before that far Falcon came along and uh, stole the money like the Queen and secluded them. So anyway, the debt collector will go after those guys. He knows England, that's where he come from, okay? He's one there. And unfortunately, our, our other uh, uh, private investigator, Phil Jones, he, uh, he's tied up uh, at the moment. So they're busy people. So um, I, I can do it myself, but um, uh, Graham Ellett will be back on Monday. I've just been on the phone to his wife. He's our, uh, I'm used to him and I know him a lot more. So I have every faith in the world with him to take this case on, but I don't want to give him something that's half done, half baked, half cooked. So I want to give him something to go straight through. That's how I operate, Matt. I don't go halfway. And make sure you do your homework uh, before you go into battle. Right? He who runs from the battle, loses. He who shuts his mouth, loses. Right? What does the Queen do? Both. Right? Both. She does both. You ever seen her go and have a meeting with with Mary on a, on a marae here? You know, all the years she's been there since 1952? No. Not once. Right? Not once. Okay, so that's that. Um, Tennessee, the, guarant the guarantor, on the tenancy agreements, before I forget, uh, are these people that are on 61 Cook Street. I'll be coming to see you and, and give you the opportunity to sign a new contract. That'll give you the chance to, uh, because we are going to develop the 115-storey building to be higher than the Sky Tower on the uh, plans of uh, Ricard Bell uh, put together. But unfortunately, he couldn't raise the money or, well, he didn't have the title in the first place. So we're going to continue with that. I'm going to design the whole thing myself on a building that'll go up that fast. It'll go down below sea level, uh, straight down. Okay, so it'll, it'll have a lot of space for all the housing uh, in Auckland that's short of. So it won't be a problem. But on the top stories, uh, you'll have all the uh, shops and uh, um, uh, about 5,000 car parts uh, and, uh, and penthouse and all the rest of it, uh, offices, shops and all that inside it. Uh, so it'll be quite big on its area and we'll go and see the other owners around the area and offer them the space where they are and change the whole block, the whole block. Okay, so we've got machines to do it. I've been picking all the machines, you'll see them on our Facebook, uh, some of them, some of them um, that I want to get. Uh, so that is not unusual because machines are that much trade. Uh, the big ones, the big, uh, big drilling machines and all that, in the sea and all that. Anyway, that's the, the tenants I'm talking about. The tenants, um, so you'll have a week to decide you want to stay or go, but I want to uh, get signed up uh, straight away uh, so that I can go to the bank and um, get an overdraft. Uh, so I have to go to Westminster uh, straight away. After that, uh, so I'm hoping to go to Westminster within two weeks. Uh, to those people waiting down on the East Coast, uh, Rangi Tukia, Sunakura and them, uh, Tamati Reid, uh, Rollins, uh, Tangaroa Rollins, uh, and uh, a few other, the car, uh, Rupert Nekar, uh, not Rupert Nekar, uh, the other one, uh, anyway, uh, the car family. Uh, so, all the other families, anyway, and uh, Dick Tuday. Uh, Dick Tuday is on Ha Ha Station to you. I want to go through the block to uh, to Te Pito, uh, and working with you guys uh, to get this project on its way. Okay, so I've got plans there for there, and a civil engineer uh, come from Dubai, uh, so he's ready to draw the plans up right now, and so we get the funding for that and get um, get the industry going there with Britain. Okay, so we get the British uh, um, military behind us. I'm hoping to, to they'll come to Rangitukia along the river bed there and set up. Okay, so that's our, um, uh, our protectorate uh, under this flag. I'm his friend, uh, Tamati. I'm his friend.
Okay, we got security right here. Okay, we got the security uh, of Britain and the military and the economy. Right, we just wait for a new Westminster. A new Westminster. We're hoping to be in there as uh, uh, another state in Plymouth, uh, from Plymouth um, for England. And I think uh, Jeff Foley, uh, HRH uh, Prince Regent, uh, Lord High Constable, uh, Magistrate of Lord Hayden Castle, Jeff Foley uh, for Wales. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, he'll be coming in. He's on our documents. Uh, he's sealed under King William IV. Sealed. Uh, so he's got his place in there as he's challenged to the um, uh, crown and the uh, uh, throne. Okay, so you've got uh, Matt Taylor, uh, you Matt, uh, you've got your, yours, uh, so I'm supporting uh, all of you and John Patterson. Uh, uh, you as well, you've got a claim in there and if Doug Hallett's still breathing anywhere, uh, you know, show up, uh, show up when we get there, uh, you'll be right. Hope you're not uh, uh, somewhere else. Uh, anyway, um, so that's all I can think of who has a challenge to the monarchy um, uh, uh, throne. Okay, but I'm standing here for King William, so I'm more like the King if I sound like one. I'm going to certainly act like one uh, right now uh, with confidence in what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm happy with the, everything on the documents. I'll be finished today and um, uh, sort it out to go up to the police station tomorrow and deliver the hard copy to them and call a meeting for the tenants on the um, land block. Uh, I'm disregarding the two owners, uh, Simon Roundtree and David, uh, uh, Simon Roundtree and J J James Brown, uh, because I'll be telling the police that I'm going in there. This is the last time, third and last time there, Three times, uh, complaints, three complaints in public to them, to the uh, Doug Rickard Bell, the, the original uh, fraud man that sold the property, and also the, uh, the other people I've accused. None of them have ever, ever challenged the uh, affidavits. And so that's the end of it. It's at a close now, the, the subject's closed then the law is on this side. The, the law favours uh, an unrebutted title for, uh, uh, affidavit. So there's enough information inside the uh, uh, serious fraud office here. You'll see the letter on Facebook. The serious fraud office here uh, could not identify a fraud. You see, uh, now we'll, 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 we'll get a letter back from this serious fraud office in London to see if they've got the same impression. Uh, as well as anybody else. Um, um, I, I can't get a reply from the police. They, they fail to do that. The oath is the other thing there. The oaths of office. Okay, I'm swearing my oath to King William IV, the flag, the contract, the constitution, and I'm, I'm swearing it to his seal as the King of England. Right? This is my oath of office. My office is to King William. Matt, my office is to King William the Fourth around the world. Okay, my office and my my my, my oath of office is to Moai Statue, right in London, uh, in those countries I see, in New Zealand. That's my memorial title to a mortgage, and a flag to a mortgage, right, and a king to a mortgage. Those three things and my name to a mortgage. You see on the title, certificate, right? You see now what, what, what makes up a mortgage lien instrument? That's what makes up a legal instrument, man. The value of it comes from someone who's prepared to pay for it. We put a price tag of five billion on it against the debtors. We recover that money from all the debtors of all the people who are linked to Doug Ricard Bell. Anyone, anyone, including the buyers, of that property, who weren't told, who weren't told there was a problem with it, because we were trying to tell them there's a problem with it by giving the real estate company David Bailey and John Bailey this in person, right, in person, and they failed to uh, adhere 
or comply with our law, okay? The landlords of this country, okay? They fail to comply with the British jurisdiction of this land on that land title and title, okay? So those are the, the, the security of interest we have in any land or any birth certificates as well, uh, Matt. This covers the birth certificates or anything they're using instruments linked to the Queen and the Queen and the King of England. Okay, so that's that's uh, that's as much as I can say to what we're doing with this land title. Apart from the the um, uh, lawyer, our our QC, who authenticates these documents. I uh, need, need to do it once, man. Once with that seal. Okay, seal, Queen, Queen, QC, Queen's Council seal from a notary public. Okay, one, one certificate for the whole lot. Okay, that's why I say uh, it's thorough. And for those tenants, one more time, for those tenants, we offer you space in the new buildings. Uh, we're going to put portable building offices there for now. We're going to start the East Cape project, that's 25 billion, that one, in the city, right, big, big project. Then we're going to do that one, that building there will take about 3 billion to build, okay, 3 billion to build. That just give you an idea, we're not mucking around with figures. Price for House Cooper's here, Chris Taylor is waiting for this. He's waiting for, he set this up in 2005. 2008, we had it ready to go. Took to 2012, we still haven't given the contracts to him, right? But he's sitting there waiting, ready to go. Wherever we go, price will ask us, we'll pick up on the accounts and the corporate side. That's on the, that side, the corporate side, we've got our own side on the king side. The king and the corporates. We're going tandem, okay? For those people on, 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 on that side, <coughs> he'll deal with all that side with the shares and everything. We've got shares on this side, on the king side, different kettle of fish. Our shares, Matt, are closed shop. They're private. They don't go on the share market because that's a racket. It's a racket to lose. This stays there forever. It won't change. It's a cooperative. Uh, my powerhouse group, 250 countries. With this flag, free passage, 250 countries. Alex Salmon, 250 countries. Did you hear that? Now this flag, ready to go. Right? That, that uh, website we've got, Matt, just need somebody over there and somebody over here or whatever, whoever to run it and to link the whole lot up. We've got some people in other countries, Hungary and India, especially India. We've got India waiting in Africa. We've got people waiting for the shares. You know what? There's only one of me to do it. I can't, I, I can't, I can't, I can't please everybody. I'm sorry to, to say I can't answer everybody's emails or Facebook or Twitter or whatever. I can't because there's too many. Okay, uh, so um, thank you to all, all the support I'm getting though, um, and um, and believers, okay, we've got plenty of believers. So um, uh, that's all I, I, I really uh, had to say. One more time to the um, uh, in, uh, the uh, tenants. One more before I forget. Uh, I'll come try to come see you tomorrow, or if not Monday, the debt collector will be will more than likely meet me on Monday to go in and see the place. Okay, I've been saying that for a while now. I won't go to, I'm dead set. I'm waiting for him to come back because he's, he's busy, been away. Okay, he's been away. So I just have to wait, wait for him to get back and then go do it. Uh, so you uh, uh, are going to sign new contracts to Britain. Not here, to Britain. On, on Moai, here is a dual government to Westminster. Okay, I already put it in place. Um, so we're going under those titles, okay? So you've got different pound note titles, not this uh, useless dollar, okay? We're going to stick with the pound note. I think Alex Salmon wants his pound note back, but he has to ask for it. He has to go into Westminster uh, because it belongs to England. And so we have our own pound note um, uh, fixed, fixed in our constitution. Okay, fixed in our law, fixed in everything in our government. We are self-government. That was that I proclaimed today. We are self-government. Uh, already was, still is. 
Okay, we just haven't used it. Our people have been slow to learn how to run themselves because they, they still have that uh, opportunity to do it. I'm here as one of them. I'm not uh, standalone. So somebody's got to make a move. So I'm going to do it this way, leave them alone, and don't bother them. Uh, we're going to have a meeting before I go with the chiefs, uh, Kingi Toto and um, um, Papa Heihe. Uh, I'll meet with them uh, either here in Auckland or up there at um, Waitangi. Uh, uh, more appropriate to here because here was Britain, straight to Britain from for the contracts, for these for these contracts. Uh, the, the flag is up there, but the contracts over here. Okay, so big difference on waving the flag around. We wave the flag around all day. We're going to London to put the flag up. So you don't need a bunch of people to go there. They only need a couple. Me and Jamie, um, Patrick Stewart, and is going. And we'll put the flag up. We're going to get some support. Matt and, and if Alex Salmon knows now a little bit more about who we are, then he'll get us and the flag up. And David Cameron will be very sorry to be left out of it because that's what we asked him to do, he didn't. We asked Salmon to do it, Alex Salmon, to um, put the flag up, he wouldn't. Yeah? They know they are using it and not telling no one. When they're found out, they'll get a bill. Okay? So people won't take lies and fraud and corruption anymore. Okay? So that's all I want to say uh, to you, Matt, uh, and everybody watching this video. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, listen to all the other videos but um, we're getting close and things will start changing. We'll start doing some work, real work, uh, soon. And to my people down the East Cape, uh, thanks for waiting, being patient. Uh, some of them not, uh, but anyway, we're still going to end up doing it anyway. We waited so long. Uh, anyway, that's all I have to say and thank you very much. We'll see you later. Bye for now. Before I go, I'll just um, bring this over here and um, put this back on and just show you. There's the warrant there. Um, and I'll, uh, put it over here and put it on. This is the the um, the warrant. Okay, we're just finishing up. This, you see, you see, it's all sealed. Every page is sealed. Right, with the authentication of those seals along the top, you can see King William and MI, and there's um, Westminster, right? So you've got the economy here, the title turbines, and then you've got King William's um, uh, British crown, that's what you call a British crown, an admiralty, right? Crown and anchor. And you've got the Confederation flag, that's the federal state flag, right, around the world. Uh, and then you've got the Moai flag with the Maui statue and uh, the pyramid, powerhouse, that's the Maui powerhouse group, that's where it gets its power thing from, energy, and the obelisk in the middle. We're, we're going along with Africa, that's Africa with us. And then you've got the sun, Ra, and also the four stars, the constellation, okay, and the spaceship up here, there, right? Okay, the spaceship, that's what we've got on our project as well. Then you've got the Maui shield, right, authentication. Then you've got King William's authentication seal, and then you got this, this is the world uh, economy, right? Like this is going up against the new world order. Um, that's the, the claim from East Island, birth of the world. And then you got the Queen Elizabeth right, going out, right, of fashion. And uh, the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court, okay? That's where she's hide, he, hidden herself as the Supreme Governor of the Church of England, new title from Her Majesty, sitting in there, right? We're going to give them a bill. And you got the courts, uh, courts. Um, and the world court, okay, world court, ITTC, and then we go along. We got the tur tidal turbines, right, and we got the my uh, company seal, and then we go along, right along through the acts, acts of parliament coming up, titles. There's the acts of King William, okay, acts of King William. This is where we can do our court hearings on the spot. On the spot. We don't have to do it. Two hour hearings. We can quote straight off here on Facebook, straight to the High Court of Admiralty in London, where this is admissible. 
as evidence. Okay, it's admissible as evidence. Um, for any court hearing, we can do it on the phone. It's all over. Okay, so we just quote our acts. These are 1830-1837 acts. That's got the Act of the Bank of England and the Hanging in Chains Act and the Execution Act. So if you get real bad, you're going to get one of those ones. Um, and there's a few of those people um, around. Um, Bush is not far from that. And Hillary Clinton can name them all. Right? The Queen, uh, the Vatican, right? Heaps of them. Heaps of them. Obama named them forever. And they can't do anything about it. So we've got, um, that's the um, Confederation, right? This is, this is the Constitution for this flag. There, it's, you're sitting there with the, all the, the chiefs, okay, tribes. Everything is there, right? This is, this is um, the contract with that flag with the king, okay? That's the original. And then you've got the, um, that's the uh, warrant there. It's, it's sitting... It should be up a little bit here. Hang on. Um, I'm still just finishing it off. Uh, it should have been trying to get it on its own. Um, I'm just showing you this so you you can see the amount of work that goes into putting a, a lean warrant together. Um, Levy, lean, Levy. So there, that's the, there. That's the warrant, okay? That's all it took to do a warrant there. That's the seal of the king, king's seal. Property search and seizure warrant, okay? In the Moai Crown King William IV Admiralty Court of Jurisdiction for the city of Auckland, okay? So that's for 61 Cook Street, a warrant, okay? And that's all it is. The rest is all the information around it. Well, thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you later. Uh, have a good day. Bye.